<laughs> Actually, do it like that. Already done. <laughs> Going out of the picture. Thank you. You're welcome. Raise your hand if you enjoy having a job. Okay, good. That looks like mostly everyone here. Raise your hand if you enjoy speaking English as your first language. Wow, this is the right audience. Tonight I want to talk about regulation and the excess thereof in this wonderful country of the United States. Now there are four types of regulation. The first type is good regulation. And I'm not going to talk about that tonight. This is the kind of regulation where you stop people from dumping mineral uh, hard metals into the river. That's fine. We are good with that. And enslaving small children to work, we're okay with that too. We won't have any of that going on in the United, United States. Also, sexual harassment, bad, bad, bad. It's good to have regulation that stops that. Now, I'm going to talk about the last three types of regulation tonight. The first type is useless. The second type is stupid. And the third type is detrimental to our country. Are you guys ready to hear this? Yeah. All right. Let's first start with useless regulation. Now, useless regulation is the kind of regulation that comes out of the relationship between a government organization and a industry who are in cahoots. A good example of this is the mineral services that just got discovered in May to have been not only gambling and smoking drugs with the industry members, but also they were accepting bribes. Now regulation that comes out of this kind of relationship is useless because all it's doing is just approving whatever it is that the industry wants. Think about it. If you have someone guarding a door, and every time someone comes in and out of that door, the person, the guard, is supposed to look at the ID, and the person who comes in and out of the door gives them a tip. Well, eventually, the person who's guarding the door is going to try to make it really easy for them to get in and out and just, oh, welcoming them. So this is the problem with this useless regulation. And the FDA is on. It happens that a lot of times it's a little bit shady there. You know, is it really regulating them or not? Now let's talk about the second kind of regulation in my three points regulation. And that is stupid regulation. Now stupid regulation is what comes out of, of the, the government bodies who are like, oh, this bad thing happened in the industry and we're going to make some rules to stop it. What they don't understand is that the industry has moved on. The market doesn't even want to do that kind of illegal activity anymore because they found new, better ways to do things. A good example of this is Sorbanes-Oxley. So Enron came out with all you know, the bad things, WorldCom, and we got Sorbanes-Oxley that tried to stop this. Well, you can tell it didn't. We still had AIG recently, Bernie Madoff. These are things that still happen. What you have to imagine is that Regulation is like land. You have this land mass, and in business is like a river. So regulation tries to put in bl blocks, and so the river just goes around it, finds new ways of getting to its objectives. Therefore, this kind of regulation is stupid, and it, it's useless at the same time. Now let's move to the third type. This is the part where, remember how I asked you if you like speaking English? All right, let's talk about this. Now, in this version, business is like an organism. And all organisms want to survive. If you put in so much regulation that makes it very difficult for a business to survive because they can't even survive anymore with the cost of doing business, you are going to stop that business from operating in that environment and will migrate to a more accommodating environment. We've seen this with offshoring. Labor was too expensive here in certain industries, and businesses moved that labor offshore. Now, this is where the language part comes in. If you enjoy speaking English, we have to stop this kind of re regulation that's often based on faulty science or other assumptions, and, and we have to make sure that we're, our regulators are doing good regulations that are meaningful and don't strangle businesses. So in conclusion, there are three types of regulation that we need to get rid of. Useless ones where the industry is in cahoots and the type 
that is trying to stop something that's reactive and doesn't even, it's not even going to happen again. In some new way it's going to happen to, to break the law. And third is the, the type that strangles business because if you would like to have us to have more of this kind of regulation, then I want you guys all to buy this lovely book, Speaking Chinese, because that's what you're going to have to do when this regulation takes over. Thank you. Thank you.